in world of football transfer news today, big, big, big news coming up. And as I said, I would be bringing you more of these since the various European leagues are drawing to a close and teams are seeking to reinforce and also beef up their squads for the following season or for next season. Yes, we start off from France and Kylian Mbappe is on the brink of signing a new two-year deal or a two-year extension with PSG worth £42 million a year. Yes, £42.5 million a year plus an £85 million signing on fee for the 23-year-old France forward. So that is what we are picking, £42.5 million Euro pounds a year and a signing on fee of 85 million pounds for 23 year old Kylian Mbappe. Big, big, big money there because uh, Madrid are in the fray, they want to sign him. We even heard that they have a pre contract agreement with Kylian Mbappe. Would he move? Let's wait and see. Now, the rumors. Are building up by the end of the day or at the end of the transfer window, Kylian Mbappe would be playing for one of the top football clubs in the world, which PSG is no exception. Also, Manchester City, remember, they were beaten by Madrid a fortnight ago. Something big is happening in their camp. Pep Guardiola is saying that, look, I am more prepared now than ever to do everything possible to win the Champions League for Manchester City. And Guardiola, we are told that he is going to sign a new deal with Manchester City to keep him at the Etihad until 2025. Yes, he is telling the club that he is more determined than ever to win the Champions League. And that is why he wants a new contract with Manchester City. Well, what, what do you think of this? Let me know. Also, Man City are considering a move for Barcelona's Dutch uh, midfielder, Frankie de Jong. Remember, he is now wanted by a lot of clubs. Manchester City wants him because they are looking to build their squad for next season. Because this season, it looks as if it did not work for City in Europe. But it's on course in the domestic league that is the English Premier League. Everton are also prepared to sell Jordan Pickford to fund a summer rebuild. Yes, they want to rebuild Tottenham and Newcastle are monitoring the England goalkeeper's situation. And let's see what happens. Staying with Tottenham Hotspurs, officials of the club watched two Villarreal players in the Champions League semi-final game or defeat on Tuesday. The Spain centre-back, that is Paul Torres, and then Dutch winger Danjuma, both 25. These are the two players at Tottenham Hotspurs watched and quickly to Italy and Napoli's 23 year old Nigeria striker Victor Osimhen is also in the news he says that he would prefer to join Arsenal over Manchester United or Newcastle United this is from the young Nigerian striker who plays for Napoli Victor Osimhen he says that look if you put Arsenal here Manchester United here Newcastle United here I'm going to choose Arsenal over these two clubs. And that is what we are picking. Also, RB Leipzig, they want Manchester United target Christopher Nkunku, who is 24, to stay for one more season on an improved contract with the Bundesliga club prepared to accept the France world leaving in 2023. So this is what Leipzig is telling Manchester United. You are not getting the player next season you will get him after next season so in 2024 you can come in for christopher in kunku and what do you think finally marcos alonso remember he has been with chelsea for six years and this uh, relationship is going to end in the summer with a 31 year old spanish left back he is prioritizing a move to spain and barcelona is interested in Marcos Alonso. So exactly, these are some of the news or transfer news making headlines today in world football. I hope you enjoyed it. But quickly, let me remind you that the transfer news edition probably, probably, probably brought to you by these pizza and food. Uh, kindly, let me tell you their menu. They have pizza, goat jollof, fried rice and chicken, 
plain rice, triple action rice. Yes, triple action rice. This special rice, which is they have the this special jollof and then this special fried rice sauce, chicken and beef. They have salad noodles, banku with okru or banku with pepper with fried fish or tilapia. They also have a very beautiful lunch basket. You can surprise someone in the office with their beautiful lunch basket. They also have birthday packages and I am recommending this uh, kitchen for you. Call them on this number 05455 62478. 05455 62478. They are located here in Tamale at Banyamni and just call them and you would be sorted out. They do deliveries as well. So, in the comfort of your homes, your offices, wherever you are here in Tamale, they would deliver. Thank you so much for your regular custom. We are back again some other time and I'll be bringing you more of the transfer news and stories. Enjoy your day.